Hey guys, what's up? Mianimals here. I was driving in the rain the other day and I noticed that my windshield wipers were not working properly. They are pretty old and worn and the yellow indicator is visible, so they need to be replaced. My wiper arms don't look that good either. So in this video, I'm going to replace the wiper blades and give the wiper arms a nice new coat of paint. I think that some viewers only want to know how you can replace the wiper blades, so let me explain that first. This is an easy job and you only need an old rack and new wiper blades. Lift up one of the wiper arms and place the old rack underneath the wiper arm. Flip the wiper blade upside down, push down on this little tab, put your fingers in between and pull back on the center of the wiper. Now you can just slide it out. That's how you remove the old wiper blade. Now the ending of the wiper arm can damage your windshield when it snaps back into place. So that's why I use an old rag. Installing a new wiper blade is just as simple. If it's the same type of wiper blade, installing one is the reverse order of removing one. Flip it upside down. Make sure this little tab is on the outside of the wiper arm. Put it into place. Push it upwards and then flip it around and that's it. Now my new wiper blades are a little bit different. So let me show you how you can install those. So this is the new one and you start by squeezing here with both fingers to open the clip and then slide it over the wiper arm and then push upwards and then close the clip and that's it. If you get your second wiper and do the other side, then you're done. Keep in mind you have different types of wiper blades and also different lengths. The wiper blade length for an NA MX-5 Miata is 45 centimeters and both the left and right wiper blade are the same length. Check your owner's manual for the correct length for your car or just use a tape measure and measure the old ones. Now that we covered removing and installing the wiper blades, we can now focus on those worn wiper arms. To access the locking nuts, we need to pop the hood. Remove the rubber caps and use a socket wrench with a 12 mm socket to remove the locking nut. Now here's a fun fact. The first time I wanted to remove the wiper arms, it took me like half an hour because I removed the nut, but the wiper arm did not want to come off. Here's what you need to do. Push it down and then you can pull it up. And you can remove the wiper arm while pushing down because uh, there's tension. <laughs> the reason you can remove it while pushing down is because this is normally mounted at a slight angle on this mounting point. But when you push down on the wiper arm, it levels it and then it's completely straight and then you can pull it off. So always push down a little bit, make it a little bit straighter and then you can pull it upwards. All right, second wiper arm, push down and then pull it upwards. That's it. Now that the wiper arms are removed, we can prepare them for paint. To remove any dirt or rust, you can sand them down with a piece of sandpaper. I'm lazy, so I'm going to use this wire brush drill bit. Two hours later. All right guys, the wiper arms are ready for paint. And as you can see, I went a bit crazy with removing the paint, but I found some rust underneath the paint. So I removed as much paint as possible, so the new paint has a good surface to stick onto. 
Now if you want, you can use some sandpaper with a high grit to create a really smooth surface, but I'm just going to leave it like this. And maybe you've spotted already, I've hurt my hand a little bit. <laughs> and what happened was I was using this wire brush uh, drill bit and I was wearing gloves, but as you can see, the gloves were not really strong. So yeah, if you decide to use a wire brush drill bit, be careful. All right, so now I'm going to clean them and then they're ready for paint. I'm going to use paper towels and rubbing alcohol to wipe them down. I would suggest using a thin wire or a coat hanger or some electrical wire as I did here. So you can hang the wiper arms up instead of putting them on the ground. That way you can hit them from every angle with the spray can. Keep in mind when you're spraying something, it's always a good idea to start with a light coat. Now what I mean by a light coat is that you can still see the bare metal once you sprayed your first layer. That's a good indication that it's indeed a light coat. The first layer is applied and as you can see, you can still see some metal. So this is indeed a light coat. Now wait five to 10 minutes before you add the second layer of paint. The second layer of paint needs to be applied a little bit heavier than the first one. I also opened my garage door because you need to do this in a well ventilated area. You also need to wear a mask. So I guess that's also a good tip for you guys if you're going to do this. All right, second layer. Third layer. All right, so normally after three layers of paint, you would add two or three layers of clear coat, but this type of paint does not need a clear coat. So I'm going to add another two or three layers of this and then the painting is done. All right guys, they're done. And I gotta say, they look pretty good. Now I'm going to let them dry for a couple of hours before reinstalling them. Don't rush it because you can damage the paint pretty easily if it's not fully cured. And that would mean you did all this for nothing. So be patient. As a matter of fact, let me check how long this needs to cure. 16 hours. Okay, so I guess that's it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. So guys, it's the next day and they're fully dried and they look fantastic. Really happy with the end result. Nice. <laughs> My hand does not look that good, but <laughs> the wiper arms, yeah, they look really, really nice. All right, let's install them on the car. Before you reinstall the wiper arms, install the wiper blades first, so you can see if you're mounting them correctly. Something like so. And the wiper blade should be in the bottom of the windscreen. Something like this. Okay, push down on it. And there it goes. That's it. That's one. And this is the second one with the wiper blade installed. Now the wiper arms are not exactly the same. As you can see, this arm is a little bit longer. The short one needs to go on the driver's side and the long one has to go on the passenger side. You can also see that in the bottom of the wiper arm, it says the P here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the P stands for passenger and the D stands for driver. Reinstall the locking nuts.
and put the caps back on. And that's it. And this guys is the end result. And I gotta say, I'm really happy how it looks. And that's how you replace your wiper blades and repaint your wiper arms. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. The tools and parts you'll need for this job are in the video description, as well as my social media links. If you haven't subscribed already, click on the Mianimals logo below. And don't forget to turn on notifications. For more Mianimals videos, click here. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.